So we talked about um, butler Volmer equation. We talked about uh, the simplification of butler Volmer equation near equilibrium, where we had a linear relationship between current density, J, and O potential. We also talked about uh, Tafel equation, which is another simplification for the butler Volmer equation when the O potential a magnitude is very large, greater than 100 millivolt. Then we would have a linear relationship between over potential and the natural log of the current density. Of course, we are using absolute value. But with all these, you may wonder how exactly do we get over potential? It's easy to get current or current density. You measure current with a ampere meter, and with area, you get the current density. But how exactly do we measure so-called over potential? Which is, remind yourself, over potential is a difference um, in potential for the actual redox reaction to happen versus the equilibrium potential for the redox to happen. Okay, so let's look at uh, a typical elect simplified electrochemical cell. We have two electrodes connected uh, with an external circuit. And uh, let's say one electrode is negative, the other electrode is positive. And when the negative electrode is connected to the positive electrode through an external circuit, such as a finite resistor, the electron would flow out from the negative electrode and into the positive electrode. Meanwhile, the real current is flowing from the positive electrode into the negative electrode. Let's say the negative electrode is our so-called WE, a working electrode. The electrode of interest, we want to know the over potential on this working electrode. The other electrode, the positive, we would call counter electrode. Okay? So in this case, as you would realize, the over potential for a single electrode, this electrode reaction of interest that current passes through this electrode cannot be measured with respect to the other current carrying electrode, which we call counter electrode in such an electrochemical cell. Because if I put a voltmeter between these two, I would measure our potential for the working electrode, but there will also be contribution of over potential on the other, which we call counter electrode. Even though our interest is on the negative, in this case, working electrode, we cannot separate the contribution of over potential on the other counter electrode because significant current also passes through the counter electrode. Okay, that's the difficulty. You cannot measure the potential change on a single electrode in this case. To solve this dilemma, to solve, measure the so-called over potential for a single electrode, people have to use a third electrode, a third electrode, which people call reference electrode, added into the electrochemical system. So instead of only two electrodes, now we are adding a additional, a third electrode inserted also into the uh, solution. Okay? And then, and then, 
instead of measuring the voltage between the working electrode, which is the electrode of your interest, and the counter electrode, which you have to have it to complete the circuit to deliver the current. Now you can measure the voltage difference between the working electrode and the so-called reference electrode. This reference electrode, okay? And uh, this reference electrode, if we can measure the potential difference for this working, and the reference first under equilibrium condition, which means when we are essentially not passing any current, not passing any current, the circuit is open, only measure it here, we would measure a potential difference between the working and the reference when there's no current between the working and the counter. And then we would gradually change the load or resistance to gradually change the current going through between the working and the counter. We can also get a, a voltage difference. Then the so-called over potential for this electrode of interest or working electrode would be, as so I write it here, the potential difference between working and the reference when there's actual current going through it minus the potential difference between working and the reference when there's no current, when everything is under equilibrium. And this potential difference would give us so-called over potential for a specific current density. And if you do this, um, for a series of current density, you would have so-called uh, polarization curve or poten over potential versus current. And you look at this uh, equation and you say, what is the ERE, the potential for the reference electrode, or e EQRE? Well, reference electrode is chosen so that there's very little current going through the reference electrode. Not only that, reference electrode is a, also a reversible electrode, which means there's no obvious polarization, which means even if there's a little bit of current, the potential doesn't really change. So which means this term and uh, this term, both for reference electrode, will cancel each other, minus, positive, will cancel each other, which means the over potential would just be, will really be the potential for the working electrode versus the potential when the working electrode is under equilibrium. And if we do this as a function of current density, we would have our polarization curve of over potential for working electrode versus current density. Okay, so you do this first under equilibrium to get uh, this, and then you do this at different current density, and you subtract these two terms, this and this for the reference electrode would cancel out, and the difference give us the so-called over potential for the electrode of interest, our so-called working electrode, and uh, a different current density. That gives us the so-called polarization curve. And as we said, to avoid the over potential contribution from reference electrode, you have to choose reversible reference electrode, which means that's very little over potential even if there's a little bit of current. And also we have to use a high impedance voltmeter to suppress the any current flow between these two. So this would be the method to measure over potential at different current density for the um, electrochemical um, half cell reaction of interest or the redox reaction of interest happening at a so-called working electrode.